Hey, good up time this morning. So macular degeneration is the most feared eye condition of all of them, and I'm gonna tell you why. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and macular degeneration, also referred to as age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, or ARMD. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna see if you have it. But first, before we do that, you need to know what the macula is. So the macula is a part of the retina, and it's a very small but important part of the retina. How small is it? It's about 5.5 millimeters in diameter. That's about the size of a pencil eraser. So it deals with the central 10 degrees of your vision, which is about the size of someone's face when you're talking to them. And the macula is responsible for your very detailed vision. It's what you use to read. It's what you use to see details in people's faces and recognize people. It's what you use to drive. And so macular degeneration is basically a premature aging of the part of the retina called the macula. Basically, I tell my patients, it's like that tissue is wearing out before you do. So the thing is, the macula, it is crammed, packed, full of receptor cells called cones. And you've probably heard of rods and cones back in elementary school. And so the macula is packed with cones, which are the receptor cells with, that deal with detailed vision and color vision. And so it has the highest concentration of the cones in the entire retina, and that's what allows you to see clearly. And so nutrients are provided to these receptor cells by a layer of blood vessels that's located underneath the retina. And so in macular degeneration, the ability to transport nutrients and oxygen from that layer of blood vessels to the receptor cells is disrupted. And so when it does, you have death and damage of those receptor cells resulting in reduced vision in that central area. So macular degeneration typically starts to develop when we're older, like typically 60s, 70s, 80s years old, but sometimes you'll see signs of it starting in the early 50s. So it often develops very, very gradually. And, if, and when it first starts, you often might only have a little bit of blurred vision, maybe distortion, and not notice things all that much. But as it progresses, the vision can get worse and worse. And so you can start to get distortion and wavy lines, blind patches, and sometimes you can lose all of your central vision. And so while the effects of macular degeneration can be absolutely devastating, the good news is that you will never lose all of your vision because macular degeneration does not affect your peripheral or your side vision, it only affects the central vision. So here's some important information that I tell the family members of people that have macular degeneration because I think it's super important for them to understand what someone with macular degeneration is going through. And so family members will look at someone with macular degeneration and they'll say, wow, they look like they're really struggling, they can't read, they can't recognize faces. But what you'll notice is people with macular degeneration will have no trouble with what we call orientation and mobility, which is basically walking around. So they can walk around even in some place that's completely unfamiliar and never bump into anything. They won't bump into a chair, they won't bump into a wall, and they can even actually navigate really well at night. And the reason is, is because the things we use for our side vision and our night vision is more of our peripheral vision. And that's where the rod receptors are located. And those receptor cells deal with our ability to see at night, but they don't have as detailed vision and they don't have any color vision with them. And so it can be kind of confusing because you'll see someone with macular degeneration that's really struggling at some things, but then other things, it seems like they're perfectly normal. And that's all because it just deals with the central vision and not the side vision. So a great example I, I tell people is that oftentimes if someone has macular degeneration, they might come into your house and they'll be walking along and they'll see something on the floor, maybe a small piece of paper that's lying on the floor on the carpet, and they'll catch that in their side vision and they'll see it. But then when they go to look down to pick it up and they try to visualize and look right at it, it's right in their blind spot and they lose it and they can't find it. So it's important for family members to know what people with macular degeneration can and can't see. They have difficult reading and seeing details, but the most difficult task for someone with macular degeneration is visualizing faces. We use our central vision to look at the contrast and detail of faces. And so with someone with macular degeneration, they'll have a lot of trouble recognizing even a close family member. And they'll often use other cues in particular, hearing, and they'll often wait until they recognize the voice and then they can tell who they are. But if you don't speak first, they may not recognize them. So another common situation is that someone with macular degeneration, when they're around their friends, 
they won't often initiate the conversation with someone because they don't necessarily recognize them. And that can turn their friends off because they think they're ignoring them or not being friendly anymore. If you know someone that with macular degeneration, it's very, very important that you initiate the conversation and talk to them first, and then they can know who you are and that conversation can keep going. So what causes macular degeneration? So a big portion of what causes macular degeneration is genetic. So there's about five different genes that will contribute to to various forms of macular degeneration. If you have one or all of those, you might get some variation of macular degeneration. And those could be, but may not necessarily be passed down from parents with macular degeneration. But there are also lifestyle and environmental factors that can increase your risk for macular degeneration. Now the number one is smoking. Smoking increases the risk for macular degeneration by about two or three times. It's a big, big risk factor. So other things that can increase the risk for macular degeneration will be our diet. An unhealthy diet, obesity, and high blood pressure will all increase the risk for macular degeneration. So you want to try to have a heart healthy diet that's rich in dark green leafy vegetables. And the other component that can contribute to developing macular degeneration is an increased exposure to UV light over a lifetime. Quitting smoking, having a healthy lifestyle, and protecting yourself from UV light will help protect you against developing macular degeneration in the first place. But regular and consistent eye exams are also important so you can detect it and intervene early. Now there are different types of macular degeneration and to learn about the most common one, you should be watching this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.